picks does not guarantee the numbers shown on this channel will result in lottery wins. Individuals who play the numbers shown on this channel understand that there are no guaranteed results and do so at their own risk. Hi, lottery queens and kings. How are you? I hope all is well. Welcome to Chloe Picks. I'm back with another video. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If not, welcome back. Decided to share with you today the pick three lottery numbers for the month of September. These are a list of 30 numbers for the 30 days in September. Now we still have our weekly numbers coming out as well tomorrow. However, these monthly numbers are for the whole month. That means that we're going to be looking at these numbers and considering the numbers for the entire month. For the weekly list, those numbers are just for the week or if you decide to play them longer, you can. So let's get straight into it. So the first number on this list is 026. Now you've probably noticed that this is a little longer video than usual. So save it to your watch later playlist if you don't have time to watch the video to the end. Or if you just like to access it later in the middle or end of the month, you'll have it easily accessible to you if you just save it to the watch later playlist. Next number is 038. So today I want to talk about the triples again. And if you watched my previous video, I did speak about the triples and you guys gave me a lot of suggestions on which triples to play and how to play them. 019. And if you have any more suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. 137. And I really think you guys gave me some great ideas, especially about how to play them. Now there are 10 triples. And as I said before, we have not had a triple in the evening draw yet this year in Michigan. 175. And I don't play the midday, but I had to check and see if a triple fell in the midday. And it did. It was the triple zeros. And that number is a slow number as well. But I started thinking about whether or not 235, I should play those triple zeros in the evening, just in case. Check this out. The triple zeros have not hit since 2022. Now that's slow to me. I don't think I can do it, guys. I don't think I can play this. It's taking too long to fall. 254. So another one of my concerns, I don't think I mentioned this before about the triples, it may be a possibility that they skip this year, guys, with the triple and let it fall at the beginning of next year, 304. That could happen because they've waited so long now. There's so many people on these triples I know, and they're playing it heavy because they want a big hit, and I don't blame them. So now there are four months left of this year for a triple to fall. 385. But my gut is telling me that they're not going to skip this year. And the reason why I think that is because I went back five years and a triple has hit at least one time each of those years. And so it's kind of hard to tell. Is it going to fall in September? 492 or closer to the end of the year because that really makes a difference of how much money I want to invest in this. I know a lot of you will disagree on the terminology I'm using, the term invest, but I look at it as an investment because I expect a return. 510. I already know what you guys thinking. Chloe, this is not investing. This is gambling. Look, I know it's gambling, but what's that old saying, guys? More than one thing can be true at the same time. 508. But I think what we all can agree on that this, whether you call it an investment or gambling, is high risk, period. Now, back to talking about playing these triples and whether or not I'm going to play them. 647. And the answer to that question is 
not right now. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're saying, well, Chloe, if not now, then when? Well, I need to get this gut feeling as to when and which numbers. Yeah, I could play them all, but all of them are not going to fall. 624, there's only one out of those 10 that's going to hit. And I want to determine which one that is. So here's the thing. I don't look at numbers the way a lot of people do. A lot of people look at numbers from day to day. 783. I'm looking at these triples in a monthly view and not a daily or weekly. So I am referring to how much I spend on the lottery in a day or a week. 859. A lot of people say, well, what's $250 or $10 a day, Chloe? That's nothing. Yes, but I'm looking at this as $10 a day times 30. 897. Now we're getting another number. Because if it doesn't fall that month, that's how much money I have invested in these numbers. So 10 times 30 is $300 for the month. And I know it's 961. What I'm supposed to be thinking by the end of this month, I should have hit. But there are circumstances where you might miss a month or two and don't hit anything. 954, in that particular case, $10 a day, $300 a month, two months at $300, that's $600. I know a lot of you guys don't look at it that way. 457, but... I always consider the chance that I may not hit those two months. 760 on any number, not just talking about the triples because I play other numbers as well. 531. Anyway, let me just give you guys these numbers. 431, because most of you guys don't even live in my state. 296, and don't even care. You like Chloe, that's your problem. Just give me the numbers. One four six. And I get it. Seven eight zero. I was just sharing my thought process on how I select numbers. Three six one. And maybe you can learn something or get something from this in your state and figure out what to play. Six five zero. So after I've done my research. Then I can make a better decision, 864. And then finally, I have to trust my gut, 968. You know, that gut feeling that tells you what you should do. Guys, I hope this information has been helpful to you. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. As always, good luck, and thank you for watching.